fourth grade, today you're going to begin a new project called Patterned Castles. And it's based off of St. Basil's Cathedral, which you guys just learned about in the video before this. Today, we're just going to begin the basic outline of our towers in the style of St. Basil's Cathedral. The requirement is that you have at least three different towers in your castle design. But in order to begin, we're going to start with our main middle tower. So towards the top of the paper, you are going to lightly draw a circle. This is for the dome of the tower. Looking at St. Basil's Cathedral, the dome actually almost has a teardrop shape. So in order to do that, you will draw a triangle right on top of your circle, kind of like a party hat. Then you can go back over your teardrop a little bit harder with your pencil and erase the line in between. Next, we're going to create the neck of the dome, and I call it the neck because it looks like a little neck on a person. So I have two vertical lines coming down from the dome, and if I want this tower to really look three-dimensional, like it's round, I end off the bottom with a curved line, just like we did in our spheres for our optical illusions. Now in our towers, there's actually three different kinds of sections that we can use when we're doing our different layers. If you notice, it almost looks like a tiered cake. It has different layers that get bigger down at the bottom. It is up to you which kind of edge you want to use in your sections. I'm going to start first with the diagonal lines. So I have two diagonal lines coming out on either side. I create the sides of that section with vertical lines, and just like I did in the neck, I close it off with a curved line. Next, I'm going to do the curved edge. I have two curved lines coming out on either side, the straight lines coming down, and end it off with a curved line. My last one I'm going to show you is the square edge which has two lines coming straight out on either side and my straight lines coming all the way down. Since I reached the bottom of the paper, I don't need to worry about doing a curved line at the bottom. Now I can begin my second tower. So off to the side, I'm going to start my second tower. You can make it as tall or as short as you want. It's completely up to you. But again, you start with a light circle, the triangle on top like a party hat, and go back around it so your line of your teardrop shape is a little darker and erase the line you don't need. Then I do the neck of the tower, the curved line, and now I can start the different sections going down in my tower. I can switch up the different kinds of edges that I've used. So that time I used a diagonal edge, maybe this time I want to use a curved edge first. I close it off with a curved line. You'll notice I am getting close to my first tower. This is how you make it look like this tower is behind your first tower. So I'm going to start with a diagonal edge this time. I have my diagonal line coming down on both sides but I stop once I hit the edge of my first tower. I have my vertical line coming down. This other side is hidden behind my first tower, so I don't need to draw that line. And I close it off with a curved line at the bottom. I can finish off my last section using whatever edge I want. I'm going to do a curved line again. I have two towers. Now I need to do a third one it is up to you how many towers you want to add to your drawing. You're welcome to do as many more as you want. When you're done doing the basic shapes, stop for today. Save this paper for next art class where we're going to begin adding patterns in each of our sections. Make sure you post a picture of this drawing on the seesaw activity so that I can see your progress and what you've done so far. Good luck!